Hi and welcome to Cuckoo Games and in this vid I'm going to be sharing my stealthy sweater girl build. The first perk we're going to be using for this build is level headed. It gives us an overall stealth avoidance from Jason's sense ability and we're going to take advantage of this while we're jogging because we don't want Jason to see us so we're not going to run we're going to move from place to place by jogging which is going to help us avoid his ascent. The second perk we're using is Homebody. Not only does it stack with Level Headed, when you move from house to house, Level Headed will give you that sense of avoidance and Homebody grants you a sense of avoidance while you're inside of a house. These two perks do stack, so if you're inside of a house, you do get that sense of avoidance from Level Headed. The third and final perk in this build is Low Profile. Not only does it give you a faster movement speed while crouched, you also get a sense of avoidance. This perk works really well with Restful, which grants you an increased stamina regen, and on top of that, it stacks with Homebody and Level Headed. To be honest, this is probably the best sense of avoidance perk that you can be using, I and mean, I would recommend you use this perk over any of the other sense of avoidance perks. I'm a Disney princess, so I want Jason to notice me because I'm everything. But for everyone else, we're going to come up with the stealth clothing build. We want to start by using her gray and I guess it's white top. And we're going to combine that with her black pants. And her four shoes, we want to use her dark black and purple. But you can also use her brown and black ones. But at the same time, I still prefer the purple and black ones. As for the emotes, there's two that we specifically want to use. We want to use um, Go Away because sometimes we're going to be next to Bugsy and Vanessa and we need to tell them to go because they're loud. And second, we want to use Come Here because sometimes Tommy Jarvis doesn't have a mic and you have to coerce Tommy Jarvis to help you. Let's get this show started, young. Yeah. The first hiding spot I'm going to show you in Jason's shack is to the left when you first walk into the shack. You're going to want to crouch down immediately after you grab the sweater and use your sense of when it's perks. Jason will not be able to send to you most of the time and as you can see in the clip, he's looking for me, he can't sense me, and he's going to teleport away. The second hiding spot in this build is the bookshelf. When you first walk in to grab the sweater, there's a bookshelf. You can literally hide right there and Jason will not see you. I displayed this hiding spot in many of my videos before. Jason cannot see you. The only thing is don't panic. As you can see in the clip, I did freak out, but Jason cannot see you. There are two tactics when it comes to getting counselors to leave you alone. Because you're using your stealth build, you want to try to get counselors to leave. Flashing your flashlight at them pretty much will notify them like, hey, I want to be left alone. And they usually will pick up on that. The second is using the emote, go away. Literally, if the flashlight doesn't work, you have to use your emote. And it's not shown in the clip, but she does leave. And finally, when you're using the sweater, make sure you're that people know what they're doing. As you see here, it was a clusterfuck, but luckily we got that Jason kill. And this is how you do a stealthy Jenny sweater girl build. Yes. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.